Let's see how we can use VS Code with any unit. The first step is to go to download VS Code and install it. Next we need .NET SDK to be installed. Check installation like this. Now we can open VS Code and here the first step is to install extensions. We will go light and use one extension called C Sharp. I already have it installed, if you don't have it just click on the install button and restart VS Code. Before starting to implement the unit tests let's see what we have here. In VS Code I have a solution that has a source project, meaning that for this source project we will create the unit tests. This source project has a csproj file and a class. The csproj file looks like this, so this is a .NET standard project. But you can have a .NET or a .NET Framework source project, just make sure you use the corresponding framework for the unit test project. And the source class has a simple method just like this. Now it's time to create the unit test project, which will be a classlib project using .NET 8. In terminal write .NET new classlib dash framework and I will set .NET 8-O followed by the project name. Then we add this project to the solution just like this. And we want the unit test project, in this case this is named nUnit4 tests to reference the source project. If we open now the unit test project, we can see that it has this reference. Change directory to the unit test project. And go to NuGet page and install the packages we need. We start by installing nUnit4. Install an unit tree test adapter. And install Microsoft.NET Test SDK. If you get one of those pop-ups, go ahead and click on Yes button. Or if you don't get one, you can go to Common Palette and search for it like this. Or of course you can reopen VS Code. The nUnit4 project is created, we can look now at the unit test implementation. Define a setup method where we create an object for the source class. Define a test by using the test case attribute and provide the data for this test. We call the method we want to unit test and do the assert with the result we get back. Don't forget to save the changes and build the project. And now we can run the test using .NET test command, followed by the path to our unit test project DLL. If we want to try a negative scenario, please don't forget to save and build the project and have another run. Or if we want to run the test by category, you can go to the test method and use the category attribute. And in terminal we have the same command plus dash dash filter test category equal the category name. 
I have few more videos related to NUnit and how to run the tests from command line using .NET or NUnit console runner. So if you are interested to find more about those, go ahead and have a look on my channel. Otherwise, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.